I'm Chuck Paulson from Puffinware. In this video, we'll show how to explore words, how to find related people in websites, and also how to do quick follow-up searches. Just like results, words can be sorted by any column header. For example, we can sort them alphabetically by clicking on the words column header. We can sort them by count by clicking on the count column header. Count is the number of results that they appear in. So for example, open source appeared in 10 different results. Now the word slider shows how many words appear on the list. If we move it all the way to the left, then only the most common words appear. If we move it all the way to the right, then all the words appear, even those that occur in only one search result. For example, now we're showing 1,354 words. Words that begin with a plus or minus sign, like Apache right here, can be expanded to show all the phrases that start with that word. Let's click on it to expand it, and then scroll down, and we can see that Apache is the first word in about 103 phrases. We can also mark interesting words or phrases. For example, here's one about Apache Nation. We'll mark that one. It gets sorted to the top. Let me scroll move back to show words that occur in two or more results. And we can find related words like Jicarilla Apache or Native Americans or other words related to Apache Nation. Also, results are sorted so that the groups that are highly related to Apache Nation are sorted to the top. If we want to look at individual results, we can sort just by relevance. Coming back to words, Words can also be filtered. So for example, let's take off this mark, expand, show all of our words, and then filter for people's names, or control P. So let's come down and try that. We'll do a control P, and we see that words that could be names of people appear on the list. There's 32 of them. For example, here's one Burt Lancaster. We can click that and see that Evidently, he was in a movie Apache in 1954. We can also filter words to show possible websites, which is a control W. So we can click right here in this menu item, and we have 102 phrases that could be possible websites. If we scroll down, we can see there's a lot of websites having to do with Apache here. We can also, let me turn off that filter, get back to our 1,354 words, just show the words that appear in two or more, and then let's go find Apache Nation again. Here it is. We'll mark that. Now let's export words by coming up to this menu item and doing export words as CSV file. We can do that. Words is fine. We'll do a save. Do you want to see them? Yes. Let's select all our columns. Do an auto fit so we can see the details. And here's the words sorted by relevance to Apache Nation. Let's get out of this. Won't save them. Now another thing we can do with words is do quick follow-up searches. If we select a word or phrase, right-click it, and select the quick search option, then I'm in a search will go off into a search on the Apache Nation in this case. We can also mark some words or phrases. For example, we have Apache Nation marked. And then just do search using marked words or Control S. So let's try that. We'll do the Control S option. Now we've gone off to Google, done a search on Apache Nation, and come back with a new search. So in this video, we showed you how to do sorting, how to find related people and websites, how to find words that are related to other words or phrases, and how to do quick follow-up searches. In the next video, we'll go into explore how to use the groups of results. Thanks for watching.